Okay, Olava, um, can you explain us what cisgender means? <laughs> okay. Why do you laugh every time? It's just everybody always asks, what is transgender? And I love that your question, what is cisgender? So let me put it this way. So, uh, when you're born in uh, most westernized countries by now, when you're born, your family and your doctors decide what your gender is. Okay? They decide this most of the time on the basis of what your junk looks like. Right? So, if you have a penis, they go like this is a boy. If you have a vagina, they go like this is a girl, right? Now, this designation, this sort of um, label that you get, is something that for some people, when they grow up, they decide, yes, I do feel like a boy. They grow up and they go like, indeed, I like all the boy things, and everybody was right, because I have a penis, and you know, I think this way, I do this, and, blah, blah, and I'm very comfortable, with this idea of being a boy, I'm a boy. That's a cisgendered person. A transgender person is told when they're born and when they're growing up, you're this gender. You're a boy or a girl on the basis of their genitals most of the time. But as they grow up, they go like, I'm actually not this thing that everybody tells me I am. I don't care about the genitals, but I'm not actually this thing, okay? I'm not a boy. In my case, I was told I was a boy on the basis of genitals, and I've grown up and realized I'm not a boy. So I am transgendered, right? So trans means sort of like in old, in old uh, 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 Roman Latin languages, I think it means something like trans is like beyond, so crossing over from one part to the other, but also like beyond something, right? So it's also about like the journey, but also about not... Kind of, so if you're trans, you do not uh, uh, agree with the gender you were assigned when you were a kid. If you're cis, you're like, yeah, I'm pretty okay with it. I can, I can live with it. I like it actually even, maybe. Oh, that's what cisgendered and transgendered. So even if um, you're like gay or uh, queer, you can still be cisgendered? You can be, you can be, I think most people are cis, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say most or, I don't know. Point is, yes, whatever your sexuality is, if the gender you were assigned as a child growing up works for you, if you're okay with it, if you can live with the pronouns that you're given, the name you're given, with, the, with, the, with, the, with just all that comes with gender, if you are very comfortable in it, you're cisgender. Doesn't matter who you're attracted to. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So, I've loved Olave Explains. I had a lot of fun. We've been at it uh, for <laughs> quite a long time. And I want to do more Olave Explains uh, episodes. But then I need questions. I need to know what it is that you want me to explain to you to the best of my abilities. And uh, you can do so by sending us an email at olavetalks at gmail.com and I will try to explain it to you the best I can. Thank you.